The Asian Lunar New Year is actually one of the biggest festivals in Asian culture. So not just in China, but in um, Vietnam, Cambodia, a lot of Asian countries. And really for my family in particular, we have a really big meal. A lot of people come over, friends and family. We all make dinner together, all the kids play together. So it's really a great family event to just be at and kind of soak up the atmosphere and be with family in kind of a busy time of year. So it's a lot of fun. What are the traditions that people might be thinking of or celebrating or talking about? A lot of the traditions revolve around the home. So a lot of people don't clean on the New Year day. They clean before the New Year. Um, you get new clothes, new shoes, you get your hair cut. Um, mm -hmm. So kind of dressing up and presenting a really um, beautiful self is something that's really important during the New Year to kind of start the year off in a better light. Um, you can't yell at kids, so a lot of kids kind of, you know, run around and you're not supposed to yell at them. Um, kids get red envelopes, which are little envelopes, and they're red, obviously, red envelopes, and they are um, filled with money. So each um, adult will give one to the child, um, and there's actually a phrase that they say, which is gong hei fa choi, and then the parent or the adult would give the envelope to the child. The festival at the um, North Quincy High School um, on February 8th is really a great event for the whole community. I think it's um, a really diverse event, actually. When you think of Asian cultures, most people just think Chinese, but really there is a lot of um, Vietnamese population in Quincy and also um, other just um, ethnicities who live here. There are lots of children's games, um, a lot of entertainment for adults and families and elders, so traditional Chinese music, there's modern dance, there's going to be a fashion show held by the high school students at North Quincy High, so it should be a really wonderful event for the whole family. There's actually a story um, that there are 12 zodiac animals, and um, each animal represents a different year, and this year is the year of the ox. Um, but the governing portion of the the Lunar New Year is actually the moon and the festival lasts 15 days and the first day is the new moon so you actually can't see the moon on that night um, which is Monday the 26th and then throughout the 15 days the moon will slowly show itself until it's the full moon on the 15th day. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger and Gatehouse Media New England. For more coverage see today's edition of the Patriot Ledger or go to patriotledger.com.